Hello everyone and welcome back to the Mouse Club podcast. My name is Marissa and I am the host of this podcast. Before we get started with today's episode, I did want to take a moment. Um, if you do watch the news or, you know, I know a lot of people from this podcast are from other countries, but there is um, a huge protest happening right now in America fighting for Black Lives Matter and I didn't want to let that go unnoticed on the podcast so I was wondering if we could take a moment of silence for the senseless acts of violence against all black lives but predominantly recently George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor as well as Tony McDade Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and take a moment of silence if you guys will observe that with me and, um, I'll be right back. All right, guys, thank you so much for that. Um, I just wanted to put that out before we go ahead and jump into our happy video because unfortunately, things are not so happy right now and it's a really tough time, but I just want everybody to have this episode to um, hopefully put a smile on your face this week and brighten your day a little bit. Of course, I don't want to be stepping on anybody's toes or... taking away from the important issues at hand. So please, if you are listening, please be sure that you're educating yourself and petitioning and fighting for black lives, um, which are having a really tough time right now. So anyway, just wanted to have a little moment to acknowledge that. And anyway, let's go ahead and jump into our episode. So today I am going to be doing the Disney quarantine tag. And I'm really, really excited about this. I wanted to do it now as uh, it's like the last little bit of quarantine, I feel like, as people are starting to go out into the world. Um, I don't know when it's going to officially be over, but I wanted to put it out sooner rather than later because people are starting to go out more and people aren't really acknowledging quarantine as much. Also, I keep hearing this bird chirping outside my window, so I really apologize if you can hear that. But anyway, the Disney quarantine tag was started by a YouTuber called Mombirella, which I will have her linked in the description box below. And I found out about the tag because of Emma and John, you're welcome, who I've also talked about on the podcast before. So I'll also have them linked in the description box down below. But I'm really excited to do this tag. It's going to be really fun and I hope that you guys enjoy. But of course, as usual, we are going to start with some Disney news. So, of course, the biggest news of the week is the fact that there will be a phased reopening of Walt Disney World beginning July 11th. So, Hollywood's or sorry, Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom will be opening July 11th. Hollywood Studios and Epcot will be reopening July 15th. Um, if you haven't heard already, but I'm sure everybody has heard, um, there will be limited park attendance. So, you are going to be required to have a reservation um, for park entry in advance. If you do want to find out a lot more of this information as well, of course, be sure to check out the Disney Parks blog or Disney Parks website. There will be a lot of different operational changes as well with um, the parks reopening. There will be a lot less areas where people could be congested, so there will be no parades, nighttime spectaculars, playgrounds, character meets, or any type of makeover, so like the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique or Pirates League. Those will not be happening It says that characters will still be in the park to entertain. So from what I've seen from Shanghai Disneyland, they're like in shows and like welcoming guests and things like that. But there's not uh, like a meet and greet where they could touch people. So I think that's really smart. However, in the shows, it seems like they're really close to their fellow co-workers and fellow characters. So I don't know. I hope that everybody stays safe because they're not able to wear masks while they're in the shows. Um... Fort Wilderness and DVC Resorts are going to be reopening June 22nd. Vero Beach, Hilton Head are opening, sorry, Vero Beach and Hilton Head are reopening June 15th as well. Um, In order to get into the parks in Walt Disney World, everybody two years and older must be wearing face masks the entire time while you're in the park. Again, like I said, I don't know 
exactly how they're going to be enforcing that, if they're going to be kicking people out when they're wearing, uh, if they take off their face mask. I'm sure that's not going to get that extreme, but I'm sure they're going to be telling people to be putting on their face masks. Um, temperature screenings will be happening as guests and cast members enter the park. Um, they are encouraging cashless transactions as well, so they say that they recommend them. I'm sure that you can still do cash transactions if you need to, but it says that that is what they are recommending. Um, so that is Disney World. We're still waiting to hear about Disney California. I have not heard anything yet, but of course, California, I believe, extended their quarantine until like July now or August, so they still have a while to go, but hopefully they can get back at it soon. And also, Universal uh, Hotels are going to be reopening June 2nd, which is the day that I'm recording this. So as you're listening, Universal Hotels should be reopened. And then the last piece of news, there wasn't a lot of news this week, was that Universal Volcano Bay's chocolate pineapple upside down cake recipe is on their Facebook page if you would like to go check that out. I just thought that was a fun little thing. Um, right now, as we're all stuck indoors, if you would like to try to bake their chocolate pineapple upside down cake, which I heard is absolutely delicious. So um, that is all the news for this week. I'm really excited for Halloween Horror Nights news to come out and park news to come out and movie news to come out because I feel like there's not a lot to talk about right now. But I wanted to share the little bit of news that I have for you guys. So guys, this week I am recording the Disney quarantine tag. Like I said, this was originally by Mombirella. She created this tag and then I found it through Emma and John, you're welcome, who are on YouTube as well. So I'll have them linked down below. But I'm really excited to answer these questions. It should be a fun one. Um, like I said, quarantine is starting to end for a lot of people. So I thought that this would be the right time to post it before quarantine is officially over, which I don't know when it will officially be over. I feel like we'll still be quarantining for a while at least as much as we can but anyway let's go ahead and jump into the tag so the first question is how many times have you watched your favorite movie during quarantine and since this is specifically a disney tag i'm gonna say none because i think my favorite disney movie is probably tangled haven't watched it once while i was in quarantine However, I did watch Tangled the series on Disney Plus, if that counts. So um, I'm going to say zero times because I haven't watched Tangled a single time. I've been watching like a lot of newer movies, um, trying to broaden my horizons and watch something new. But I'm surprised I haven't watched Tangled because I love it so much and it really puts a smile on my face. Question number two is, if you could be on vacation at any Disney location, which would you choose? Oof that's a hard one. I feel like right now I would pick probably Disney Aulani in Hawaii because I've never been to Hawaii and Aulani just looks amazing plus Hawaiian food and the beach. That sounds amazing so I'm gonna go with Aulani. Um, yeah I'm gonna go with Aulani. <laughs> the next question is have you had to cancel or reschedule a Disney trip? Yes, um, we were planning on going around May or April to Disney World um, and to visit our family, but unfortunately, of course, that didn't happen with the start of quarantine, so we didn't officially have a plan, a trip planned, so we didn't have to go through the process of like talking to people um, on the phone and stuff to reschedule our trip and get our refunds and everything, which was really nice, but I do know a lot of people who have had to reschedule their trips and even now with the parks reopening it's just so different like with character meet and greets and everything else that a lot of people that I know from like the UK or from farther away it's just not worth it to spend that much money on a trip when you're not going to be able to do parades or shows or meet with characters so I really understand and empathize with you guys because that is a lot of work um, especially to try to come on a trip when not everything is going to be back to normal <clears throat> Why is my voice so foggy right now? I don't know. But yeah, luckily we haven't had to deal with that. But I do know it's been a painful process for some people. Question number four. If you could ride any Disney ride right now, which would you choose? As weird as it sounds, I would pick Living with the Land. Because it's such a peaceful ride. Just going through on the boat. I love that ride. 
or a, a lot of the boat rides like Pirates of the Caribbean sounds fun you know that like Disney water smell like that's what I want to smell right now is that Disney water smell um and the one in Mexico too in Epcot the uh I can't remember the name of it Viva La Mexico or something like that with Donald Duck and the three caballeros that ride is really cute as well Number five, if you could eat at any Disney restaurant, which would you choose? Ooh, that's hard. Okay, the one that's been on the top of my list for a while is um, Tatteria Al Forno at the Boardwalk, Boardwalk Resort with the character dining with Rapunzel and Flynn, which I don't think is going to happen when the parks reopen anyway right now because there's not going to be any character meet and greets. But I really, really, really want to try their food and have that experience because it looks so fun and the food looks super delicious. Question number six, what Disney snack are you craving right now? There are so many, I could not even tell you. There's like a number of them that I would like to have right now. The first one, of course, is my favorite, a Mickey pretzel of cheese. Oh, so delicious. As far as sweet goes, probably... Uh, it's so hard because there's so many delicious sweet treats probably a nutella waffle sandwich so delicious number seven what disney scents do you have or want in your house i don't have any official disney scents sadly i would love 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 to get some from uh, walter and rosie candy candle co all those other companies i feel like they have so many amazing smells and i've never tried any of them but I would love to get the churro flavor because I feel like cinnamon is just a great scent to have in your house. The Disney water scent, like I said earlier, that's another amazing smell. I love that one. Um, Main Street would be a great smell, like all of the um, candy shops or the popcorn. Those are some great scents that I would love to have blasting through my house right now. And actually, we don't even have many candles left. We've gone through our stash during this quarantine so tomorrow I think we're going to don our masks and take a trip to TJ Maxx to get some candles because our house could really use a little love. And yeah, I think I really need some candles or maybe I'll place an order with Walter and Rosie as well because those candles just look like they smell delicious. Okay, next one. Have you streamed Onward yet? Yes, um, we I streamed it the first day that it came out. Onward, if you haven't seen it on Disney Plus, it's a new Pixar movie which was in theaters like right when quarantine started. So they moved it to Disney Plus, which was very nice of them. Um, we had a little date night because we were planning on seeing Onward in the theater. And since the theater is closed, we had a little date night at home and watched it together. Um, and it was really, really, really cute and sweet. Made me cry like a baby at the end. It was really good. So we really enjoyed Onward. Okay, number nine, what Disney classic movie or TV series have you reconnected with during this quarantine? Ooh, that's a good one. And I don't know. I would say Mary Poppins because I've said it a few times on this podcast, but I was reading Homework by Julie Andrews. And um, like I said, she talks about all the behind the scenes of making Mary Poppins um, and all of her movies, so I watched all the movies after each chapter that she talked about them, so I watched Mary Poppins, and I felt a really deep love for it because of just knowing how much work into, work went into it and everything else, so I would say Mary Poppins. TV series, I don't think I've been watching any TV series during quarantine, like classic Disney, so I'm gonna have to say no Disney classic TV series, unfortunately. Number 10, if you had to pick one Disney character to be quarantined with, who would you choose? Rapunzel, for sure. <laughs> Rapunzel, I feel like, could make the most out of any situation. She, I feel like she could bring a lot of fun to the table. Um, she could paint my house for me, which would be really nice. She could bake. And Pascal and Nala would have the best time ever. <laughs> if you don't know who Nala is, she is my two-year-old golden retriever labrador retriever mix and she's so cute and i think she would love hanging out with pascal fun funny little story this is kind of off topic but once i was at the park with nala and there was a mole which i've never seen a mole before in real life and they're really really cute 
or no it wasn't a mole it was a shrew i've never seen a shrew before and they're so cute with their little noses that like twist so adorable but anyway it ran through the park and it's so tiny if you've never seen one they're like the size of a mouse and nala like chased it but she didn't chase it like she wanted to hurt it she chased it like she wanted a friend and it was so adorable and that's what i picture when i think of nala and pascal hanging out together <laughs> also i'm sorry about my voice i don't know why it is cracking like this it is very very weird okay the next question would you be watching mulan if it were in theaters right now absolutely i've had it on my list for a while um i was really excited for mulan because it's more connected to the original legend of fa mulan from uh china so I was really excited to see like all the elements that they took out and all the elements that they added and I was really really excited to see how they did it but unfortunately it's not out so we will have to wait until it is out in theaters again to see it but I really hope that it's a good one because some of the Disney live actions I've absolutely loved and some of them I have not liked at all so I really hope that it's a good one. Okay next number 12 have you pulled a Mulan? Have you cut your own hair? No, I have not. Um, I'm actually trying to grow out my hair right now, so this couldn't have worked at a better time. Um, I've had short hair for like a year now, and I've really, really loved it. But I think it's time for me to change, and I really want to grow my hair long so I can do more styles and stuff. So I have not cut my hair. However, Blake did let me shave the side of his head. Not like shave it off, but like help him cut it. So like I did the fade and stuff, and... He went to the hairdresser today and she said that he did a really good job fading it. So I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> All right. Number 13. Are you feeling creative? Crafts? Projects? Question um, mark. Yes, I will say that I'm feeling very creative with the podcast specifically. And I wanted to say thank you guys so much for giving me this platform and for listening to the episodes because I have so many ideas I cannot even tell you and I have just lists and lists and lists of all these episodes that I want to record. So I've, spelt, I've just felt really inspired with the podcast and I've been connecting with a lot of Disney accounts on YouTube and Instagram and I've just been feeling really inspired and loved by like the Disney community so I've really enjoyed this platform and creating on here. Um, as far as my YouTube channel goes, I've been having a really hard time coming up with ideas. I feel like I'm not motivated or inspired right now to do it, but I'm, I'm still trying. And I think eventually I will get back into the swing of it. It's just hard to come up with some ideas right now when you're stuck inside. So that is unfortunate. And those are really the only creative platforms I've been using. I have been playing Animal Crossing, so I've been creative on there with designing my island and my home, so I would count that as well, but I haven't been doing anything else like really crafting or anything like that. Okay, next is if you got to have a Disney sidekick, which would you pick? Ooh, that's a tough one. Okay, so before the movie came out, I definitely thought Pua from Moana was going to be my new favorite sidekick. But sadly, he was hardly in the movie, which I was so sad about because I love pigs. I think that they're so flipping cute. So I feel like I can't pick... I can't pick Pua because I don't know him that well. And Hey Hey is just as sweet and cute as he is. He's not the smartest little chicken in the world. <laughs> so I'm trying to think who I would pick as my sidekick while I'm in quarantine. But there are so many good sidekicks. Maybe Flounder. Flounder is really cute and he's funny. Um, and he's a little bit of a chicken, so I feel like he would help me stay inside. <laughs> and he's really adorable. I feel like I feel like there's more that I'm not thinking of though. There's so many good sidekicks. I'm trying to think of like every character in my head oh here's a good one chip from beauty and the beast because he's so cute and he's always helping bell and we could read stories together so chip <laughs> all right next what are you binge watching a tv show movie series um as far as disney goes i've been binge watching prop culture which i've seen all the episodes now um be our chef which is a really good one and uh, A Dog's Life, which is a really good one as well. Those have all been really entertaining throughout this quarantine. And I haven't really been binging any movies. I've watched Mary Poppins, like I said. 
um, Sound of Music, which is on Disney+, Plus, but that's not a Disney movie officially. Um, and as far as, like, other things besides Disney goes, um, I've been binge-watching Dance Moms. It is so, so, so good. And we've been binge-watching 90 Day Fiancé and Survivor. So those are the top ones I would say I've been binging. Number 16. What Disney character would handle quarantine best? I feel like it would be Elsa because of the fact that even though Rapunzel was quarantined as well as Elsa, um, I feel like Rapunzel was always ready to go. She, of course, wanted to see the world. She had a sense of adventure, whereas I feel like Elsa was okay with her quarantine because she was trying to protect the world from her powers um and she loves to read and uh be she's very introverted so I feel like she would really be fine in quarantine as well (laughs) number 17 if this were the work of a Disney villain which would it be I mean I feel like you've got to go with Mother Gothel because she kept Rapunzel on a tower for 18 years so I feel like she would be the queen of quarantine if we're talking about a Disney villain who else could have done it? Maybe maybe Maleficent because we're all sleeping all the time. <laughs> so Maleficent, Mother Gothel, I think those would be my top two picks. Number 18, what are you reading? Right now I'm reading The Chronicles of Narnia. Um, I have read The Magician's Nephew, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and The Horse and His Boy. I'm currently on Prince Caspian. And I have three books left after this, so I'm reading them. I'm really, really enjoying them, Um, and I cannot wait to finish them and see the new Netflix series, which is coming soon. I've also been watching the Narnia movies after I finish the books. Well, of course, so far, it's just been The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, but after I finish Caspian and Voyage of the Dawn Treader, I'll be watching those as well. Number 19, which Disney song best represents how you feel during the quarantine? Huh. How do I pick? <laughs> I feel like the, so- the first song that comes to my head is I See the Light from Tangled because <laughs> I just, I feel like when the quarantine ends and the world is back to normal, we're all going to emerge and be like, and at last I see the light (laughs) and we're all gonna be so happy so I feel like I would go with I see the light from Tangled and yeah that's the song I'm gonna go with (laughs) anyway guys thank you so much for listening to today's episode I hope that you enjoyed um please be safe out there if you are going out if you are visiting the parks Please be wearing your mask and washing your hands and not touching your face. You know, all the all the classic stuff. And please be safe if you are protesting this week. Um, and just um, be smart and be healthy. And anyway, guys, I love you all. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. It really means a lot to me. And I will see you next week with a new episode. And next week's episode is actually going to have our first ever guest. So I hope that you guys enjoy. And I will see you next week with a new episode. Bye. Thank you so much for listening to the Mouse Club Podcast. To find us on Instagram, follow us at the Mouse Club Podcast. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash the Mouse Club Podcast or on our website, themouseclubpodcast.com to find all of our episodes, links to our social channels, and our YouTube channel, which will be coming soon. To follow our host, Marissa Potts, that's me. Check me out on YouTube, Marissa Potts, on TikTok at marissa.potts, on Instagram at little miss Maris, M-R-S Maris. Thanks so much for listening. See you next week. Bye.